guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Allison and welcome back to Cosplay Chat. Cosplay Chat is this new series on my channel where we discuss different things about cosplay that you normally don't get to talk about. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about getting inspired and staying inspired. So if you have like spouts of depression or just episodes or moments where you don't wanna work on anything and the con is in a month, these are some different ways and free tactics that you can get yourself re-inspired to continue working on your costume. First thing is step back from your costume. Step back from it, take a breather, maybe take a day or so, just relax. The big thing about art and uh, artists in general is that they're constantly stepping away from their work to look at it from a different perspective or even during a different period of time. So you can give your piece anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, go back to it, and you are re-inspired and re-motivated and you tend to look at your pieces differently. That's not in any way of me telling you to procrastinate, but if there's something you're really stuck on and you're like, I don't even want to do this, I, I, I don't want to finish this piece, blah, 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 if you're really, really mentally stuck, then move on uh, to something else and then go back to it later. Uh, there's another thing that I should tell you about when you first start your costume, and that's do the hardest pieces first. You're not gonna wanna do it, uh, but if you do the hardest pieces first and you get them out of the way, you're more motivated to create the rest of the costume and you're generally happier with the outcome. If you're like me and you tend to procrastinate on costumes in general, you tend to save those like really complicated pieces to the last second because you don't want to do them. Do them first and then you can do the pieces that you want to do last because chances are you'll get them done quicker because you'll be a little bit more motivated to create them. Plus, when you've figured out something that you're like, oh, I don't know how, how to do this or it's giving you trouble or it's kind of like racking your brain, once you complete it, it's incredibly satisfying. So it helps you out mentally, it helps you out physically, and it also saves a lot of time. I think the biggest example of this was Aranea, um, who's one of my favorite costumes, probably the most detailed costume I've ever created. And I started her pretty early, and the first thing I did was work on that lance, because I knew that lance was gonna be trouble. Same thing with the breastplate. I knew the breastplate was gonna be trouble, so I did those two items first, and honestly, it turned out the best out of everything. That costume is probably one of my favorites and I probably put the most time, the most detailed work into that costume. And it won me a judges award. Yay! I'd like to thank the Academy and my cat. I'm sorry, that was kind of weird. I'll just put this down. So another thing that I like to do while I'm in the process of working on a costume and I've kind of hit a roadblock with the entire thing is write down my thoughts. I use journals and planners all the time when I'm working on costume because I'm a very mentally organized person, but I'm not a physically organized person, and I'm also a very sloppy writer. So just kind of like writing down my thoughts and the order in which I would like to create different pieces of my costume or how many days I have left and what things I should be doing on each day helps me mentally prepare myself. When I'm working on a costume, I'll tend to sit down at night when my fiance and I are about to go to bed. I'll write down some different things that I need to work on in the morning. Because I am thinking about them ahead of time and kind of playing them out in my brain, it helps me be more motivated to creating those pieces and I tend to get them done a little quicker. Now this might not work for everybody. Um, it might be a little tedious, but I also plan a lot of my costumes through my uh, cosplay planner or my notebook. Uh, way ahead of time. So I'm like, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this, I want to do this. Okay, how do I make these pieces fit together? In my personal experience, it saves a lot of time in the workshop and it tends to make me less stressed out because as I'm constantly rewriting these notes and editing them, I get a better sense of where I am in this costume, how much I need to get done, and I feel way less stressed and more motivated to create different pieces. And of course, when you're planning, you can look up videos, tutorials, you can see what other people have done, get inspiration from their work, and write down different things that might help you out in the long run so you're not just sitting there in the dark like, what do I do? I don't know, cosplay gods help me. Another thing I do when I'm kind of in the middle of a cosplay and I'm like getting kind of drained mentally, physically, emotionally, what I like to do is sit down before I have a full day of working and watch cosplay music videos. I love watching cosplay videos because it gets me inspired to uh, create my costume and to be like, I'm gonna be in one of these videos. Like, that'll be so fun. I would love to see my work showcased like this and I can't wait to have the confidence that these people have while wearing their costume. That's also kind of why I make cosplay vlogs because they help me when I get into a rough spot and I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I wanna do this. 
I'll go and watch the convention vlogs and be like, remember how much fun you had? You're gonna have that much fun. You just need to finish your costume first. Remember last year, you did the same thing, but you did it in less time. And then watching other people's con vlogs to see how much fun they have at conventions kind of just gets you inspired and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for this con. I'm ready to finish this costume, let's go. So if you're really unmotivated to create a costume and you find yourself in this slump for a very long time, and your deadline is coming up, you don't have to create your costume. You don't have to finish it. No one says that you have to create something that you don't wanna create or you lost the motivation for. While there are ways to get your motivation back, and if you've tried all these things and nothing seems to be working, well, this costume just might not be for you at the time. Set it down, let it go, maybe wear another costume to the event, uh, kind of collect your thoughts and be like, you know what, it's okay that I didn't finish my costume, or it's okay that I wasn't quite motivated to finish this. I'll come back to it because there's gonna be plenty of opportunities for me to wear this again. I know that there's a lot of pressure on cosplayers because of um, some of the higher end cosplayers that can bang out these amazing bills in a couple of weeks, but they've been doing this for a very long time and they also do this for a living so they have more time. Someone like me who works a full-time job, someone like you that might be going to school and working a job and then also cosplaying on the side, you're not going to have as much time, you're also not going to have as much experience, so you don't have to hold yourself up to the standards. The only standards you should be holding yourself up to is your own, as long as you're proud of your work and as long as you feel like you are confident enough in it, I say go for it. One more thing that might help you guys out while you're actually in the workplace is music. I'm a big uh, scene kid at heart, still scene kid, hello, my hair is blue. Um, I tend to listen to a lot of Fall Out Boy and Panic at the Disco, so I just have my Spotify playlist of just all Fall Out Boy albums, all Panic at the Disco albums, and that's what I listen to in my garage. There's like certain songs that pep me up more, like I tend to just dance around, sing around a little bit, and it keeps me motivated and it keeps me going and it keeps my spirits up when I'm working on a costume. So anyway, I think I've blabbed enough for this video. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you are watching this from Sticky Button, hi, my name's Allison. Uh, obviously, I'm part of the Valkyries program on this lovely website platform here, and you might be seeing my video linked from my YouTube channel. If you're watching on YouTube, you're probably like, Allison, you're confusing us. Stop. You can also find content from myself, Mink the Seder cosplay, and Aditi Dance Design. I'm honored to be a part of this program with these two wonderful ladies, and I hope to see more of my content on the Sticky Butt website for you guys to enjoy. But anyway, if you want to see the website, it's a great website by the way, go to stickybutton.com. There's news articles, cosplay content, my pretty face, and a lot of fun stuff on the website, so go, go check it out, go click. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy these cosplay talks, please don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel because there's going to be plenty more of these. Remember they are uploaded every Wednesday. I'm currently going to film another one after this. I'm filming three in a row today. Oh boy. So I'm literally going to do the same thing I did for this one, change my shirt and come back. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.